Good evening and welcome to your last episode of Emirates 24-7 for the week. I'm Katie Fielder. And I'm Amar Bhatti. We've got an exciting half hour of news ahead. Enterprising Arabs. We ask if entrepreneurship is the answer for the high regional unemployment rate. Real Estate Review. Today marks the final day of Cityscape 2011. We review what it means for the city and the sector. Refunds rebuked. Retail giant scraps cash refunds for its shoppers. But first, we start tonight's program looking at entrepreneurship. The IMF says that the Arab world has the highest regional unemployment rate in the world. And the UAE's Labor Ministry recently highlighted the importance of job creation, particularly in the private sector. So might entrepreneurship be one of the answers to the challenges in the job market? In the studio to help answer this question is Hela Fadha, the chair of the MIT Enterprise Forum for the Pan-Arab region. Hela, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for uh, having me. It's a pleasure. A pleasure. Now, uh, looking at the issue of unemployment across the Arab world, um, it was cited as one of the key reasons for the recent uprisings for the Arab Spring itself. W what are your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, I mean, as, as you're saying, I think there's a clear link between the unemployment rate in this region and what happened during the Arab Spring. If we go back to the facts, uh, on January 4, 2011, um, Mohamed Bouazizi uh, got frustrated because he's an entrepreneur who couldn't grow his green grocer business uh, because of bureaucratic limitations. And for me, more than a political revolution, he started an energy revolution. He unleashed the energies of the young Arabs and inspired them to go to the streets to demonstrate for freedom, but also for a job, or at least for the opportunity to create their own jobs. And um, I think no government today has um, the answers to the high level of expectations and hopes of the Arab youth. Uh, why? Because uh, governments and the public sector have reached their limits in terms of uh, job creation. I mean, government is no longer a growing business, so they're no longer creating jobs. And the other thing they have created, they have also reached their limits in terms of providing us with role models, because political leaders used to be role models, and now they're falling one by one. Uh, so the entrepreneurs need to be our new role models, uh, because they can create new companies, create jobs, and... Um, uh, meet this uh, very high level of expectations and hopes of the young Arabs of today. Now, obviously, in all of this, education is a key focus, but a recent study from the IMF says that our regional education systems are not adequately preparing our students for the job market. So what do you think needs to change? Um, well, as for everything, usually when you put your hand uh, with the private sector, you can achieve many things. So. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, public-private partnerships and I think if universities work closely uh, with uh, companies in this region uh, so that we match uh, what we train students for and the expectations of the job market, then uh, we would all be uh, better off. Um, all right. Now, now looking, uh, take, going back to your point earlier about entrepreneurship as the answer, um, what do you see as the role of small and medium business in growing the economy and creating those jobs? Uh, well, uh, small and medium businesses account in every country in the world for 95% of the economy and of the jobs. Uh, so we need to really promote those young entrepreneurs that want to start uh, even a one or two or three people business uh, so that they create uh, the jobs that are required to employ the 10 million Arabs that come to the job market every year. Now, obviously, you're here in the uh, country at the moment helping promote the MIT Enterprise Forum Business Competition. What does the competition hope to achieve, helping these SMEs along, giving them a bit of support? Uh, yeah, well, the uh, MIT Arab uh, Business Plan Competition started five years ago, and I'm very proud to say that we started with uh, a few hundreds applications five years ago, and last year uh, we got 4,000 applications from 17 Arab countries. Uh, and what this competition does is uh, three things. Uh, first of all, for any uh, young Arab that has a business idea, it gets him or her started with this idea because the, the track they follow by participating to the business plan competition make them turn their idea into a business plan, a fully-fledged business plan ready to be implemented. Uh, and um, now What are some of the, uh, the best ideas or the best uh, concepts for entrepreneurship you've seen uh, through this competition? 
Uh, well, I can talk about the winners of, uh, of last year and the year before. So the winner of last year is an Egyptian guy called Sherif Mustafa. He started PT Screens and PT Screen is a software that um, connects you to other people who are doing the same search as you when you are browsing on the web or searching on Google. So now uh, instead of getting the information from Google only, you get it from a community of people who are interested in the same topics as you are. Uh, so he kind of revolutionized the, um, the way you're searching on the internet or the way you're browsing the internet. Uh, the winner of uh, two years ago, her name is Rana Shmaitili, she's a Lebanese uh, woman who's um, an uh, engineering professor at the American University of Beirut. And she thought that uh, uh, age 18 is probably too late to discover what engineering is about. So she, she started engineering classes for children age 3 to 16 uh, to introduce them to environmental engineering, robotics, civil engineering, uh, so that uh, we have children that are um, educated um, to engineering and uh, they are um, entertained in an educational way rather than spending a lot of time on uh, uh, playing on video games. <laughs> absolutely. Well, some it's absolutely wonderful ideas idea. there. Uh, mm -hmm. and look forward to seeing more uh, through the MIT uh, forum in the future. Heather, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thank, thank you. you. All right, it is time now. For